trouble. Oh, it's real hot on Oh. Ah, oh, sure. You getting tired, Andy? It's been a long ride. I'm getting tired, all right. Not from the ride. I'm getting tired of waiting to see my dad. Are you going to see your dad? No. I'm going to visit my uncle. He's the marshal in Miles City. I've never ridden in this stage without it breaks down. Me neither. Mm -hmm. Wish you'd hurry up and fix that wheel. Well, Bill. Hello, Hank. Hello, boy. Hello. What'd you celebrate, sir? on time? Well, it should be. Mm. Got time for another drink. Wait a minute, Bert. I know you're happy because the kid's coming home, but don't let him see you. Go ahead and say it. Drunk. <laughs> That's it. Right. All right. I'll kill time and lark it. All right. You know, I've never seen Bert so happy in all my life. Bill. Hey, Bill. One more won't hurt, will it? Yeah. All right. Just one. Just one to the kid. <laughs> back again. <laughs> yep. Back again. <laughs> what are you gonna have, Bill? I'll have mine straight. Okay. Go ahead. After you. To the kids, huh? Feeling lucky, Bert? This is my lucky day. My kid's coming home. <laughs> Cut the cards with you, Larson, and take a little cash away from you. Suits me. And count me out. Me too. How much do you want to cut for, Bert? Oh, make it a hundred. Go on. Ah, uh, that's an unlucky card, Bert. Pay up and let's go. Will it be long now? You'll be home in no time. I'll bet my dad won't know me. I'm going up now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm almost a man. Of course you are. All right, let's go. She's back. Hey! Come on. What do you want to cut for this time, Bert? Make it 300. 
Go ahead. Ain't superstitious, are you? No. Only it's funny that you should draw that same card three times in a row. That's 700 you owe me. Not cash? No. Well, I'll give you my signature. Oh, I'm good for it, ain't I? Sure. Come on in the office. Gabby. Yeah. Burke wants to sign for some dough. Yeah. Uh, toss me a blank. Here you are, Burke. Sign right there. I thought you said this was your lucky day. <laughs> sure. Still is. My kid will be here in a minute. forgot to fill in that I.O.U. I gave you. Give it to me. You're drunk, Burke. Well, drunk or sober, I forgot to fill it in. Now give it to me. Hey, is in. Give it to me so I can get out there and meet my kid. Mr. Denton, hey, hey, hey. my niece, Hi. Molly. How do you do? How do you do? Get away from me, Bert. Hold on, Larson, you can't get away with it. Give it to me. Now, that came from Larson. Well, what's going on here? Wait 
What happened, Larson? Burke was drunk. We had words. He went for his gun, and I beat him to it. You'd better not come in, Sonny. But I want to find my father. Well, but you'd better stay here. I'm Bill. Your father's pal. Let me have that. Take care of that for me. I'm going to take you home. Come on, son. Burke never knew what hit him. He was waiting for the kid when it happened. Do you mean I won't see my... That my dad? It was. It's yours now. get the kid away. They're bringing Burke out now. Come on, honey. Maybe Larson was waiting for just such a break. Yeah, who knows? It happened so quick. Oh, he never had a chance. Never had a chance. You're the witness, Gabby. Uh, sign here. <laughs> it's a joke. Witnessing a dead man's signature. Sure, and the joke's on Burke. <laughs> the joke's been on you, Larson. If I didn't know how to set this deal up, all legal and proper. And my name's interested. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're easy with your signature, Gabby. And you're too darn loose with your tongue. If you're not careful, it'll get you in trouble. You wouldn't want to follow Burke, would you? Ah, uh, can't you take a joke? Sure, I know. We're both in on this. Sure. <laughs> I want to ask your advice. Bert's been gone about uh, six months now, ain't he? Married seven months ago yesterday. Yeah. It's on account of Bert's kid that I held up speaking to you about this. like we've got company. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you two men aren't the worst housekeepers. Yeah. I understand the bill last night he ought to make some kind of deal with you. So you could stay here all the time. There's a sky fighting over Twin Forks. Hey, would you mind going out and putting up the horses and closing the stable door? <laughs> sure. I know you think that I put him up the same Saying what? Well, about... You coming over here and uh, me getting the, the star pilot. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, Nanny, looks like we're going to have a woman in the house. You say? I, I didn't mean to have the kid do my proposing for me. But you see, he does know what I've been thinking. And I was thinking that you might consider... Uh, How'd you like to be a mother? What? Now, was that a nice thing to do? Uh, I mean, to the kid. No, to Andy. Oh. <laughs> well, you get your story straight and tell it to me again. Yes. you boys, so stay here. I don't know just how to tell you, Bill, but uh, Larson here has a claim on the ranch. I don't believe it. Bert told me that the place is free and clear for the boy when he grew up. Let me have that. It's Burke's signature, ain't it? Yeah, it's Burke's signature, all right. This is the kid's home, and if you take it away, 
He'll have no place to go. I'm not worrying about that. It's his, Bill. You and the kid will have to move out. Give me a chance to pay Bert's debt. Bert, don't owe me nothing now. No? How about his IOU? IOU? Yes. The one he told me he gave you the day that you... The day that... The day that he died. Why, Burke was drunk that day and didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> and now it looks as though he didn't know what he was talking about, either. Maybe he didn't know what he was doing, but I'll guarantee that he knew what he was talking about. You'll give Larson possession? Yes. What's wrong? Yeah. It's moving day. For the kid. And me. What does Bill mean? Larson's taken over the place. Oh. Well, I don't see why we have to leave the ranch. The marshal says it's the law, kid. that Bert wasn't quicker on the draw. Yeah. You bought an expensive wrench. It's all paid for. That's what you think. Come on, Jim. Bill? We're going into business. What kind of business? Collecting. Collecting what? Cash. <laughs> you, with the brown shirt on and the black hat, step forward. You on the end. Now take that wallet out of your pocket and drop it on the road. Oh, all right. Now get back in that stage. And get going. And keep going. Excitement. Turn if I know. Oh. What 
What's wrong, Marshal? Ah, stage held up again. <laughs> you hear that? Getting to be a heavy. <laughs> And he stopped the stage in the same place, in the same way. It's always the same. Can a man get any protection in this town? Let's get this straight, Larson. You say he stopped the stage in the same place. Same place. Hey, Bill. been together. And you didn't see me anywhere near the stage door. Understand? Yeah, but I can't see you. Oh. You rat. Haven't you got any fight in you? Uh, what do you want me to do? How much was he carrying of yours this time? Fifteen thousand. Ain't he the darndest liar? Who called who a liar? Can a fellow think out loud? I was just thinking. Fifteen thousand is a lot of money to lose, Larson. You know, I've always been interested in Burke's kid in the ranch. And I was just thinking I might know of someone that might buy, if the price is right. If your friend happens to have 35000 in cold cash, bring him around. You mean you'll talk business? Yes, I'll talk business. Fine. Come on, Mary Jane. Your grandma's waiting for you, so come right along. Yes, Grandpa. Sounds all right, Debbie. Listen to me, Marshal. I'm through playing banker to this bandit. And I'm serving notice on you now that I'm taking my own men and picking up this outlaw's trail. And we're not coming back without him. Now, wait a minute, Larson. Nobody takes the law into their own hands while I'm Marshal. Yeah. Now, you listen to me. I have listened to you. And I haven't changed my mind a bit. Larson, you know, I think we can get together. Yeah? Yeah. I'll be seeing you. <gasps> Don't lay your hands on that boy. What do you mean? He's Burke's boy, ain't he? Nice boy. Yeah.
When do we move out of Burke's ranch? What do you mean, we? You and me, Lost. You said we were both in on the deal. Tighten your cinch on your jaw, Gabby. There's no place for that kind of talk. Ah. Uh... I wouldn't do this for anyone but you, Jim. Good night. I want
Well, Larson, I want to talk to you. I haven't time now. Oh, yes, you have. We can talk in here. Well. You can't get away with this with me. I've got business outside. And I've got business in here, Larson. You want to make a deal? What kind of a deal? You said you wanted $35,000 for Birch Ranch, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I'm here to buy. Get out Birch deed. I'm not doing any business tonight. Come back in the morning. I'm going out of here. You know this gun, Larson? I never saw it before. You're right. You never saw it before. It's Burke's gun. The gun he didn't have a chance to use. Sit down. I wonder. Take a good look at it. If we don't close the deal tonight, it'll be the last thing you'll ever see. I'm busy counting up. Uh, who is it? It's me. I'll be with you in a minute, Marshal. Oh. You have the brains, Marshal. Here's your money. Well, give me that deed that Bert made out to you. quite figure your play at first. I didn't think that you meant business. No? Deeded back to Andy Burke, the kid. But you're still ten dollars shy, Denton. Yeah. There's 20. Keep the change. Oh, so it was you that stuck me up. And this money came from the same place as this $20 bill. You're right. You stole Burke's ranch. I stole your money. We're even now. You win, Denton. If you're smart, Larson, you won't follow me. I'm still toting Burke's gun. Good night. Good evening, Marshal. Stop that man! Bill! Larson! Oh, kid! Yes! Why did you come? You're robbing me. No, come on!
feel. took the shot they aimed at me. Oh, what have you done? I thought I was doing the right thing. I guess I was wrong. Oh, Bill. Oh. I got his ranch back. <laughs> what good will it do him now? Does anybody know Denton's hangout? No, but he liked that kid too much to take any chance on his life. That's right. I think I know where we can find him. Oh, you do? Yep. Well, then come on. Let's get started. Well, I've told you the truth. I wasn't Bill. trying to steal. I was trying to even things up for the kid. I believe in you, Bill. But go, please. If they find you here, they'll... they'll Oh, you know. Yes, oh. that's it. I know, they wouldn't give me a break. Oh, well. But I wouldn't leave the kid. But you're not doing him any good by staying here. Please go, Bill. I'll get a doctor. Well, there's his horse. I guess my hunch was right. Yeah. Marshal, that you don't care whether they catch Denton or not. Maybe you're right. to say. He keeps calling for Bill. If Bill can be found, he'll pull through. Andy, this is Molly. Do you hear me, Andy? Molly, tell me where you live, you and Bill. Oh, no. We live in the old ranger shack. Oh. oh, Bill. Why don't you come to me? There, there, Andy. I'll get him. Oh, Bill. Where are you going? Uncle Jack, you've got to give that kid a break. He wants Bill, and I know where to find him. If Denton comes back, I'll take him. Oh, I see. A toss-up. The kid's life or Denton. Well, I'll put it up to him. We're combing the country for him, and it's only a question of time until we get him. You couldn't find him in a hundred years. Oh, Bill. I need you, Bill. If Bill Denton comes back for that kid, I'll give him a break. You go ahead. I'll stay here.
I'm staying on Bill Denton's trail if it takes all summer. You can. This trail is getting too hot. I'm quitting. Nobody quits. It's all right to run errands for you, Larson. What's another thing going around begging to be shot? That's what you're doing when you talk about quitting me. Ah, uh, can't you take a joke? Look. Where do you suppose he's going? The kid must be worse. Maybe he... If the kid is worse, I've got a hunch. Come on. Why, Molly? Bill, Larson's looking for you. Yeah? So is the marshal. The kid cried all night for you. He wants you. He needs you, too. Will you go to him? Come on. Hunch was right. Come on. We don't have to trail him. He's going to the kid. To the marsh. Bill Denton comes back, he's a fool. Maybe. You gather up the boys and bring them here. If he does come back, I don't intend to let anyone take him away from us. You mean Larson? I mean Larson. He's resting. If you want me, I'll be in the other room. Hello, partner. Oh, Bill. I knew you'd come for me. Where have you been? Collecting? We're all through collecting. Let's go home, Bill. Sure. Be your home. Your father's home. With your dog and pony. Sure, and we're going together, Bill. You're going, too. Now, just lie still while I fix things for you and me to go home. You're coming back, ain't you? Sure, he'll be back. Let's have it, Bill. His father. So long, partner. So long, Bill. I'll be waiting.
Marshal, we want Bill Denton. You can't have him, Larson. We're taking him, Marshal. You gave me one break, Marshal. Will you give me another? This, this gone too far, Larson. Count me out. If you take one step, Larson, I'm shooting. It's your last chance, Marshal. Do you give him up, or do we take him? We take him! Nobody ain't taking anybody, Larson. Stay where you are. Mr. Mr. Not tell you, Larson, did you go to get us? Why, you rat! Oh. Stop, Larson! I'll get him! Get him up there. Why, Uncle? You stay here, Molly. This ain't no picnic. I ain't got a thing on Larson. I'm just hoping the right man will win. Bad gun in your holster, Larson. Now turn around and look at me. You wouldn't shoot me in cold blood, would you? That's Burke's gun. I'm giving you the break that Burke never got. Reach for it, Larson. Reach for it. Reach for it, Larson. Why don't you reach for it, Larson? I knew that that rock was there, and I figured he'd draw if he thought he had me cold decked. Bill! Hey, Bill! Oh, boy. What's all the shooting about? Come on, Marshal. Ah, oh, shucks. We ain't going nowhere. Hey, Marshall. 
Yeah? I see Bill collecting again. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to speak to Bill about that. <laughs> <laughs>